In this video, we're going to demonstrate how on a PlayStation 5, you can use safe mode to perform a system software update. As safe mode will only load a PlayStation 5's basic functions, typically we would use safe mode when troubleshooting issues that cannot be fixed via the PS5's main user interface. To place a PlayStation 5 into safe mode, we first need to ensure that our PlayStation is powered down. One way to do this is to press and hold down the power button on our console for roughly 3 seconds or until we hear our PS5 beep for a second time. We now need to wait until the status lights on our console go out. To place our console into safe mode, once again we need to press and hold down the power button. However this time we need to press and hold down the power button for roughly 6 seconds or until we hear a second beep. When we release our finger from the power button, the console will be placed into safe mode, and we will be asked to connect our controller using a USB cable. After pressing the PS button on our controller, we're presented with the seven options of safe mode. From the menu, if we select Update System Software, we're presented with two options. The first option, Update from USB Drive, is a way to install a system update if your console is not connected to the internet. However, if you want to use this option, you will first need to visit the PlayStation website and download the latest PS5 system update. If you are using the Microsoft Edge browser on a Windows computer, when you try and download the PS5 update file, you will be informed that the file cannot be downloaded. To get around this problem, if you select the Options icon and choose Keep from the Quick menu, while you will be warned that the file cannot be downloaded securely and that malicious attacks might be able to read or change insecure downloaded files, if we select Keep Anyway, the PS5 update file will download to our computer. Next, if we insert a USB flash drive that has been formatted as FAT32 and then open File Explorer, We now need to open Downloads and copy the psupdate.pub file to memory. Next, from within File Explorer, we need to open our USB flash drive. Within our USB drive, we need to create a folder called PS5. Within the PS5 folder, we now need to create another folder called Update. Finally, by pasting our psupdate.pub file into the update folder, we will create a file structure on our USB drive that will allow our PlayStation to see the update file. Now in order to manually update our PS5 using our USB drive, we simply need to plug the USB drive into our game's console and select the option Update from USB drive. The second option, Update using the internet, We'll also update our PS5 with the latest version of its system software, but it does this by first downloading the update from the internet. As this is the most convenient option to use, for our example, this is the option that we're going to select. First, we're informed what version of the system software we'll be installing, and then we're told that once the software has been downloaded and installed onto our PS5, our console will reboot itself. Let's select Update. As you can see, the update will first download to our console. How long this takes will depend on the speed of your internet connection. While the update is being installed onto your PS5, you should not switch it off or attempt to eject a disk if one is in your console. Once our PlayStation has installed the update, it will reboot, then rebuild the database before finally informing us that we can sign back in. Our console is now using the latest version of its system software.